And that'll be coming out soon, the, the remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm very intrigued. That, and it's basically Mass Effect 2 remastered. and 3 look and behave almost exactly the same. And Mass Effect 1's almost been rebuilt from the ground up because of how different it is to the other two. Oh, it's wow. A, it just feels very clunky going back. Like, you've recently done this, Doctor. I'm, I'm doing oh, Mass Effect yeah. at the moment, yeah. Mass Effect 2 and 3 still look and play relatively well. Mass Effect 1 is... It's its always shocking to me how different it is to the rest of the trilogy that it's its really RPG. Like, it has a lot of stuff on, like, yeah. gear optimization and stuff like that that was pretty much just dropped, and the combat in it is fucking garbage. So. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of stuff with ammo and stuff, was there, if I remember? Which Not ammo, really... you had overheating weapons. Oh, um, but also okay, it was yeah. like... If your class wasn't trained in a weapon, you could just never use it, ever. And so, like, only one class had anything other than the pistol to take through the entire game. And was, <laughs> there were a lot of decisions that m make sense in an RPG, but not in a shooter that's fun to play. See, yeah. I, I kind of like that, because, like, I was one of these people who imported my character from all the Mass Effects right the way through, and, like, it bothered oh, me. Nice. That I, I picked the soldier class on the basis yeah. that, like, I could use all of the cool guns, and then in yes. subsequent games, that everybody could less use... Less, yeah. Yeah. Well, they've <laughs> removed that for now for the remastered Mass Effect 1, that basically anyone can use any gun but you can only get like better with them and actually like use the like the the gun powers for stuff you're actually like trained in yeah uh, okay. less, it still it irked me that i picked this class in virtue of the fact that i could use all the cool weapons and then it just devalued my choice of class the further yeah the without really giving you much else yeah exactly but now as someone who's had to do it recently i can tell you the process of like migrating your save um up up the chain It'll be very nice for them to have all of these, all of the games on one disc, like, in one place. Well, because trying to do that nowadays is such a fucking... Yeah, idea. I can imagine. <laughs> what one of my, like, crowning achievement, I think, of the Mass Effect games was by the time you got to the third game, like, you could spend hours not engaged in any kind of combat, just hours and hours of diplomacy and never feel bored. It was a crowning yeah, achievement. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, the yeah. thing, like, you have to remember, they're that's not cool. shooters. Uh, and no, that's what they yeah. do really well. It's like it's, it gets around. So one of the things I find deeply frustrating about Halo, for example, is like Halo and the stories around it are really good, really interesting stories. And like a COD style first person shooter is a uniquely terrible format in which to tell that story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas Mass Effect, while it has shooty stuff because space, yeah. it gives its story so much room to breathe and be yes. the forefront. It's like, okay, no, they're not the best shooter games. That's because they're not shooters, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I'm not sure if it's just that I haven't played many games like that, but I always thought in terms of, like, the choices you can make in it, it's... I mean, there aren't many games so like that. Like that yeah. The choice system was pretty revolutionary, both for, like, dialogue yeah. stuff and for overarching stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's finally my first level up. Actually, well, none of you guys have leveled up other than Wario anyway. Yeah, I, I keep thinking I'm behind because I'm just looking at the bard. Storming ahead again. Yeah. Uh, no. It well, begins. Only a, little, only a little bit. Only a little Round bit. Round two. Think we discussed this off-camera viewership, but I am pretty convinced that I won mostly out of luck and happenstance than any financial acumen that I might possess. <laughs> yeah, and, and as someone who's played yeah. 14 boards of Fortune Street, I think that's how any of us win. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which, strong that words from me, the, the man who's lost the most of any of us <laughs> <but> still. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Amelia, your... like our, our wise and sagely Amelia, tell us who, based on like the opening gambits of the game, who's going to win? And we'll see uh, yeah. if you're, you're correct in 15 yeah. videos' time. Uh. This would, yeah, I really hope that people do. That would be such a great thing as to. Well, people predict. can actually guess. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there's a bunch of subreddits that are based on this, right? Where you pick a show, and if you predict things that then subsequently happen in the show, you earn points, and then the person with the most points on the subreddit, I don't know, gets a million pounds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I don't think. I mean, we did a similar thing, with guessing what celebrities were going to die in a given year. That was oh god, fun. that's horrifying. <laughs> the death pool. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, that was post 2019, yeah. wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I thought it was 2016. Well, 2016. Was it 2016? Yeah. yeah. That was the, Several that was of mine the... are bafflingly still alive. Oh, oh wow. There was Stop that. that. <laughs> there was a See, pub... it's really easy to do. There was a pub in my hometown that did that. They had an actual Deadpool where you could pay in, I think it was like £20, and then the first celebrity, so like it was like 20 people involved and £20 each. And then if your celebrity died first, you won the entire pot. So there was a lot of money Ooh, involved yeah, wow, in it. Jesus. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just baffled wow. that Robert Redford is still alive. I really, feel, I really thought he was going to go in 2017, but here we are. Well, we should do it. The Philippus <laughs> Gentleman version of this game, this is definitely something that should happen. I really, I really, I really hope Robert Redford does not die between now and this airing. Otherwise, I'm going to look like some kind of dark source. <laughs> I need that kind of infamy. Yeah. That's also going to look in bad taste, yeah. I suspect. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, I see how this works now. Okay. What? 
I wondered what would happen when I got to the end of that. Yeah, chain. it all loops around. Yeah, it's just obviously you can't you can't display a 3D surface as a 2D map yeah. without making some things. It's the Mercator problem all over again. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Increased oh, value yes. of stocks. Oh Ex yeah. Except for the only the district that you're in, I just bought 71 stocks in. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I mean, yeah, I'll take that, it. That, that's the only district I have stocks in, so that I have yep. no choice but to Ooh. invest in it. Oh, it's the team district. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fingers glorious. in that pie. Yes. I think so. For like one of the first times, we've got video up in the corner while we're recording, and it's it's drawing attention to be like how weird I am with things like while I'm recording. Like, there, when I talk into the microphone <laughs> like this, you can see me doing it, and you can see how much I bug out my eyes while I do it. I, I, I didn't really realize that I do that, but I do, apparently. It, it's also the way the light is, like, very much... <laughs> yeah, because I've got a light bulb up there over my desk. You look like Jim Carrey's mask in there. <laughs> uh, can, I ask a, can I ask a question? Like, a, I appreciate anonymity is maybe a big factor, but is there a reason in particular that infrastructure gentlemen don't show their faces on camera? Are we wanted men? Is it to preserve <laughs> yeah, a, 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 a certain mystique? Like, Whoa, what's the exactly, exactly. So we, we didn't actually show the video of the infamous bank robbing uh, for that reason, <laughs> actually. Uh, but since so then, we have it on podcast, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it all comes down to plausible deniability in the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah, having recently rewatched our Lord of the Rings, Lego Lord of the Rings videos, Doctor, um, oh, I can, yeah. there's, there's good reason why I don't want my face attached to some of the things we say and do in those videos. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing, yeah. It's like, That's probably... we, all have, we all have serious careers as normal people, and none of us are particularly trying to make this our primary career, so... <laughs> Having, having that, that bridge of plausible deniability is always nice. <laughs> let, let, us know, uh, let us know in the comments section, viewership. Like, uh, we're using video for the first time so we can see one another while we record. Is this working better? Is the audio quality better? Would you Yeah, because this was like the bard suggestion because he reckons if we, if we can see each other, we talk over one another less. Mm. So I'm curious to see if that's the case. I've spent most of this talking over the bard, <laughs> <laughs> which I promise is by accident, not to prove a point. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a specific get fucked to the bard. <laughs> this, is, this is because of two things, isn't it? It's all the damage I dealt his D&D &D character and because I beat him in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> the the wounds is back. are still sore. Yeah, yeah. Someone that finally has a better win-to-loss ratio than the boy in Fortune Street. With a ratio of infinite but, that yeah. the bard is currently sitting on. Just wait till the, just wait till the next time we play D and D, e boy. Your character's gonna die. <laughs> I will I have my revenge. Myself. <laughs> oh no! Oh, anaconda! Who anaconda? How did that even happen? <laughs> Damn it! We got a pip install. <laughs> Would you say that your anaconda install comedy? Yeah. <laughs> would, would you perhaps say that your anaconda don't your anaconda and... don't want? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <sighs> I know we were going for that to happen, to and I'm glad it very did. Very different sets of jokes. <laughs> One you considerably going? nerdier than the other. Um, I think, yeah, better. Oh, a pip yeah. Joke. <laughs> no, no, a, a pipe. <laughs> who, are you say, who are you saying? Where are you going to? <laughs> uh, oh. I didn't really mean to do that at all. You, you definitely don't want to sell a shop, as as Amelia has told us. Yeah. Never forget yeah. the words of Amelia. Yeah, exactly. Uh, ninety nine stocks already, you maniac! I know. Now, now ninety nine minus forty two, but there we go. Uh, See, this is what you do differently. That we all tend to like spooge as much money as we can into stocks, and I don't know if that's why you won and why we don't win. Obviously, one of us normally wins, but I mean, I'm not winning right now, so true. I am only just ahead of you. And as we all know, the Ooh, beginning yeah. of this game is really when winners are made a loot. <laughs> it absolutely doesn't come down to the final 15 minutes of a three and a half hour recording. <laughs> Ooh, oh, sprucing yeah. time. Wait, I no, it's not. No, sorry, no, I thought no, no, I once again made the idiot assumption that Wario is I, yellow. <laughs> Bafflingly, by the, despite being yellow, Wario is neither yellow nor purple. Yeah, Despite those being his primary colours. Apparently, he does have green shoes, to be fair. Apparently, depending on the characters you choose, <laughs> there are different colours in this game, as in it's not always purple, olive, yellow, and green. Like, if someone played Mario, yeah. they would be red. But every character has, like, a primary yeah. and a secondary option. Oh, damn, I wanted the, the thing. I know, that's why I came to this island as yeah, well. Yeah, I want the checkpoint <laughs> on there. That's literally why I'm here. Oh, my first venture card, excellent. Well, I'm gonna go the way the fuck away from you, Pugs. <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, it's come Kenny. on! <laughs> oh, that's um, bullshit. That's quite a lot, actually. Oh, yeah. that's, a, oh yeah. that's a big that's, heap. That's that might bring you back down into second. It absolutely will. Uh, and I've got a hemorrhage six of them as well. Yeah, that brings me back down. It's already a hemorrhage. That's like a trickle. Oh, no, it doesn't bring me down in a second. It's a, it's a mild hemorrhage. <laughs> I was, I'm, re I'm actually reading a book on geopolitics at the moment and how basically like when foreign investment is plowed into a particular country or a particular region, like the desirability oh, of that region it. increases exponentially on like a global scale. Yeah. And, like oh. it, it just puts me in mind. It's like when you make a, civil, a city state your ally in Civ Five. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never played Civ Five, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never played any of the Civ games, or? Um, I've played the very basic versions that they kind of ported to Xbox. Ooh. So I played Civ, Civ Revolution, and then the various. They seem like they'd be your game. kind of thing, especially oh, I, I would love because it, but... deeply complex board yeah, game style geopolitical. Thing. Yeah, oh, and, and, and you're just it. you're literally just now professed love of geopolitical relationships. <laughs> oh, I, I know that I would love to play Civ, but like I've never had a oh. PC that is remotely powerful enough to run it. And you still don't. No, <laughs> this is being run on my PC <laughs> and streamed to you people. Because apparently your computer sorcery. can't quite be a GameCube from 2002. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little embarrassing, it, isn't it? Like I remember reading somewhere very recently that oh, um, the the processor in a pocket calculator is more powerful. Oh, sorry, the processor in very basic early model Nokia's like mobile phones was more powerful than the processor they had on the computer on like Apollo spacecraft. Yeah, I mean the Apollo yeah. computers were incredibly like simple by design. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but also that—that's that's also, that's, that's really, also like really thirty good. years. So if you apply some basic Moore's law, <laughs> that's not yeah. that surprising. I mean, well, it's just yeah. incredible to me that like we we came so far so My fast. My mum talks yeah. about when when she did her master's, she talks about the computer room uh, that was the room that had the computer in it, <laughs> <laughs> and, like it was the room, like it was the walls and everything like that. And to load programs onto, you had to like bring massive discs in that were like basically solid metal, like vinyl sized things that you wow. had to load into it. Oh wow. Yeah, my dad still talks about ticker tape, uh, which is <laughs> <laughs> horrifying. What is? Mm, I don't like that Luigi, while Luigi is over there buying up everything yeah. on. I mean, I, I've start, I've started using recently a supercomputer, and it's it's annoying how mundane to me how mundane it is using a don't supercomputer. Don't change the subject away from your. No, I, I want right, hey. You are changing the subject. I'm coming back to it. That it's like a supercomputer just, is nowadays just seems to be a lot of computers attached together, basically. Mm. It is, it is, yeah, which is like much any less one node of this supercomputer isn't even much more powerful than my computer. It's no, just, it's literally just the same. 60,000 of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you at least want it to be like slightly sentient, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But no. Uh, as a, as a non-computery guy, no, I don't want my computer to be sentient. <laughs> yeah, I but mean, if you tell me we're using a supercomputer, like well, we're not supposed to use the word supercomputer, we have to call it HPC. <laughs> oh, of course. A yeah. HPC. High performance computing. Yeah. Oh. I didn't read Why? Because we'll supercomputer sounds fake and dumb, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is definitely true. I, I don't know. Whoops to the arcade. No challenge there. Oh, oh. You could, uh, it's, it's not one of the ones that benefits right you. Right next to you. I think it's Dart of Gold now. Here's yeah. a fun exercise for the infamous gentleman. Like, if you could name a supercomputer, what would you call it? Uh, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> well, my. The, I can give you some real examples of so the one the one that we used to have um, so we had two at my old university that were called Alice which is a crap name and Spectre which is a great name uh, that's a good name and then our current one is just called Arc Four and Jade oh, everybody gets a small amount of money wow oh, everyone gets money nice yeah Come everyone gets gold. a tenner. <laughs> Yeah, so ours, ours were named after uh, Japanese numbers, so it just goes, uh, it's like Ichiban, Nanaban, I can't remember the order, but um, Ichiban, Nanaban, Sanban. But the problem is that I think in Japanese there's like two words for four, so One it gets really confusing. <laughs> I thought four was four was the Japanese 13, like... It's really yeah, unlucky. Yeah, right? the, 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 I think the, that's the, why. I think it's the, like, same, yeah. the same word, for, yeah, the word for four... One of the words for four, if you say it in a different tone, because it's like a tonal language, um, yeah. well, if you say it in a different tone, it means death, which is why it's unlucky. Mm, yeah, which yeah, makes yeah. more sense than any of the 13 bullshit. Oh, yeah, that was the yeah. most like ponderous turn ever, Bard. <laughs> uh, I'm experiencing a bit of lag, I'm afraid, gentlemen, so that, that's not yeah, right. Uh, I might be able to do something about this. Hold on a second. I, I, uh, I, seem, to be fi I seem to be fine now. Okay. Um, <gasps> so do you know the, the reason why 13... Come down. Do you know the reason why 13 <laughs> is unlucky in Western culture? No, actually. No. Uh, can you hold this so, conversation for when I am connecting properly? Because I actually do want to hear the answer to that, but I also <laughs> wanted to fix this. Uh... There we go. And we are back. We are after back. Some Sorry. Technical yeah. So what were, you, what were you saying about 13? Apologies. So like uh, the reason in Western culture the number 13 is generally considered to be unlucky is that there were 13 people who dined together at the Last Supper. Huh. Oh, so okay. obviously there was there was Christ and his twelve disciples to make thirteen. Oh, makes sense. but what wasn't the like thirteen people through basically the whole? I mean, 
Yeah, like, yeah. Every other, every other dinner. Of yeah. Of, yeah. <laughs> so it's like all the other suppers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you see that meme that's like, ah, Jesus, you're here for the... La- J- Judas saying to Jesus, ah, Jesus, you're here for the last supper. And Jesus goes, sorry, the what? He goes, just the supper, the regular supper with the fellas. <laughs> Absolutely normal supper with the last. <laughs> I think yeah. it's actually... It's actually a misconception. So like the thirteen of them weren't actually together for all that long because they oh. spent years and years recruiting them, and then they were not always all together in one place. As oh wow! In, in the various gospels, oh, well, wait, most of, most of the events of the New Testament with Jesus happen within like a really short period of time. The base like he's yeah. born. And then there was some awkward teenage stuff that was <laughs> declared not yeah, yeah. apocryphal and was cut from the Bible. Oh. And then and then he just reappears when he's like thirty three, and then dies when he's like thirty five. Oh. Yeah, so it's a very bizarre phenomenon which is often overlooked in Western literary ca- literary canon. That, like every disciple kept a gospel, including Judas Iscariot, the man yeah. who would ultimately betray and kill Jesus. And the location and the translations of these other eight gospels that we never really hear about. Maybe they're in a vault in the Vatican. Maybe copies have been lost. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was mistranslated from Greek to Latin, and so on and so forth. But the kind of academic quest to uncover the lost gospels is ongoing to this day. It's very interesting. See also yeah. why the book of Revelation is a fraction of the size of all of the rest of the books <laughs> in the Bible. Because a lot of it's been cut over time. <laughs> um, hold on a second. I just need to sort something out. Um... Whilst the Doctor sorts this out yeah. for your ship, we encourage you to watch other infamous gentleman yeah. content on the channel. Furthermore, we're pretty sure that like this is why you came here was our our chats about the new and old testaments. <laughs> I, was, I, was yeah, was, th- yeah. I was reading an interesting thing. Re- oh, who is this by the way? It's not me. Um, so there you go. No, yeah. I, yeah. I was reading oh. an interesting thing about interpretations of the Book of Revelation because um, there was a, a theory I wasn't aware of that basically the Book of Re- Revelation is describing various things that already happened within the Roman Empire, like um, basically the reign of Nero and that kind of stuff, and a lot um. of the stuff in it pretty much just maps onto that. Oh, okay. okay. And how oh. describing that as like something that's evil, but it's not forecasting anything to come so much as it's basically just as a historical description of events that have already happened. As as oh, I see, yeah. Of, we think of like the time of Christ as being like almost pre-mythical, mm. but like we, we can pinpoint which Roman emperor was in power and yeah. like the Romans kept meticulous records, so we know exactly what was going on in their empire at the time he must have been alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I, as, as I understand it, there's decent historical evidence for... Jesus as a figure. Not necessarily oh, yeah, historical the, evidence that he was the son of God and also God and some spooky ghost as well, but <laughs> but certainly the the Holy Spirit's always been very ill defined. <laughs> but but there's certainly historical evidence enough for Jesus the person. The prophet. Yeah. We are resuming Infamous Gentleman viewership, and as we were off camera, an interesting discussion arose, which we're just gonna share. So um we're discussing T Rexes, the humblest of all God's creatures. <laughs> But uh, it turns out, like I was reading recently, a paleontology article where they t- apparently the little claws the T-Rex has, its stumpy little chicken, horrible T-Rex arms, were actually incredibly strong. So they reckon from analysing the bone structure that the tendons that must have been stretched over those bones to power the muscles or to power the limbs, the little T-Rex hands were incredibly strong. So they would latch on and then they would just bite with a huge, <laughs> powerful jaws. I do enjoy how oh everyone's coming to me hey oh I do, oh, where are you? I, I do enjoy how like periodically P- T Rex becomes more or less cool on a kind of cyclical basis. <laughs> <laughs> That's like dinosaurs are feathered yeah. but use their tiny things to, like hold onto things is is quite cool. Dinosaurs are cool. I mean, let's face it; they're the closest we're going to get they're, to actual dragons. Yeah, literally, which yeah, is exactly, perhaps exactly, not exactly. entirely accidental. It, it's baffling to think that like. A life form like that existed on planet Earth. I know, right? I know. Uh-huh. Have you seen the like, guy? What? There's a guy on Twitter who, like, basically, he's a, he's a <laughs> best job title ever, professional drawer of dinosaurs. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's I concerned know, that basically people who, when drawing dinosaurs, basically like, underflesh them and make them look a bit too like too much like you've just draped leather over like the skeleton. And he did a really interesting series where he basically drew present day animals especially focusing on birds because of the whole dinosaur thing and basically drawing them from a skeleton as you would a dinosaur and they all look kind of horrifying like like swans and stuff like that looks like a fucking raptor if you basically just draw it like a dinosaur from a skeleton and he basically reckons dinosaurs will have had a lot more like fat and soft tissue and stuff like that and obviously that doesn't ever really survive yeah 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 I mean, it's difficult to know what they actually look like, right? Yeah, very. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of things nowadays where if you looked at a skeleton, it wouldn't give you much of a clue as to what the actual animal looked like. Like, Exactly. Look at at penguins with their knees up inside them. It's all weird. Like, yeah, I had a horror. I mean, you can work out. 
It's like, oh, oh no. No. We, we, it's uh, always us. It's always yeah, us. You're right. Zoom totally yeah. stops this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you go, boy. <laughs> it's because I can't see you. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Um, yeah, you can work out just about where the muscles go and what they do. Which is Dude, quite we, cool can, we can't itself. even work the out from a human skeleton whether it was a male or a female. Like, <laughs> like come on. It's because it, yeah. there is the the archetypal gynecoid pelvis is not exclusively. Yeah, in women. It's also <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, because there was wow. that whole controversy um, with the Viking warrior who turned out to be a woman. Oh when yeah, like, yeah. Even like osteological analysis suggests it quite clearly, but also everyone was just like, "Well, she's bur they're buried with a load right. of like warrior stuff, so obviously it must be a bloke." <laughs> it's like <laughs> there's as much societal baggage there as as also. Oh, yeah, um, like I remember you posted this on International Women's Day I did. a couple of years ago. It was an incredibly detailed oh. and excellent post. I got my one for this year lined up as well. Ooh. Well done, you. It's become a tradition. 